Good afternoon, everyone. Hundred year floods have swept through Jammu and Kashmir in India. There also seems to be a correlation now with the intertropical convergent zone pushing a little further south as it did during the Dalton minimum, forming more equatorial tropical cyclones, which there's verification back to 1892 through the Spanish colonial government in the Philippines. Taiwan is also experiencing a 120 year drought and water rationing is on the books. I have a lot of people ask me where I find some of my reports, so I'll start you with this repository here from the American Meteorological Society. There's hundreds and hundreds of articles and symposiums. You can dig through and find some of your own research there. As well as the Society for Interdisciplinary Studies is going to hold a meeting on the effects of solar magnetic activity on our planet and how that will affect the weather. That's coming up on April 25th. Now jumping over to the Philippines, we're focusing on Mindanao Island in the south. This latest super typhoon, Maysak, was a surprise to everybody how fast it strengthened. This is the MSAT-2 infrared image. These typhoon storm tracks mimic a pattern that occurred from the 1880s to approximately 1910. And from 2013 to 15, it shows the exact same low southern tracks. And we need to jump back into history, and they do have records from 1883 to 1900s of exactly how many typhoons have passed that area. When you dig back into the equatorial tropical cyclones, since that time in the 1880s, there have only been 21 that have formed below 5 degrees north latitude. Now notice this, since 2012, 5 of those 20, approximately 25% have occurred in the last few years. The Spanish colonial government kept really good records writing about the typhoons where they passed over the Philippines going back to 1870. What appears to be happening currently is the intertropical convergence zone is pushing further south as it did during the Dalton minimum, which would allow these storms to start forming further south toward the equator. That would explain these last few years of the equatorial typhoons forming. And a reconstruction of where the drier or the wetter areas were during the Little Ice Age matches up in a couple areas currently with the drier at D12. This is Taiwan. Taiwan Water Bureau put out annual rainfall from 1949 to 2010. As you can see, it's getting drier. And this year, they're already starting to consider water banning in Banqiao, which is part of Taipei, because the reservoirs are so low. This graph here extended out to 2015 will be drier and that split will continue to widen over time. Now the problem with Taiwan's water storage is they have such steep slopes that there's really no catchment. It's just straight off the mountain and cliffs right down to the sea. You'll notice also Brazil extreme drought as well as California. These drought and extreme rains seem to be correlating with a shift in the intertropical convergence zone. We're going to jump over to India and in Jammu and Kashmir. If you're not familiar with this, it's in the far north of India on the map. They've just experienced their once in a hundred year floods. This area is incredibly beautiful. Srinagar has the houseboats on the lake, which is well known and famous. Also Jammu, nice trekking area, lower mountains off the edge of the Himalaya, but verdant green valleys. Now normally Jammu only receives 20 millimeters of rain for March the entire month, but just in a two day period alone in one rainstorm, they were pushing up around 67. The floods from the streams and the rivers came into the town. You can see approximately how deep the water is in the cities. That's how far the banks overflowed. More storms are on the way, and apparently, throughout the entire month, Jammu and Kashmir received 160 millimeters. That's eight times the average. This is when the water was receding, what it looks like still. That is a man. If you look at the light post, there is a man right next to the sign there. You can still see how deep the water is. This is after a break in the rains for a couple days where it did have a chance to drain off. And it's still that deep in the cities. Flood list has a lot of different articles about the floods. If you're interested to take a look, see the exact tributaries that are flooding as well as the water depths.
Now this might be a one-off storm, but last year they also had a once-in-a-century flood. This is off for LeafWeb. They did a full accounting of what types of damage was incurred in which districts. I included the link below so you can take a look at the PDF. Over 10 million people were affected by the floods in 2014. It looks like a repeat again 2015. Is this a trend that's going to continue? I'm going to say yes. Where it's getting wetter right now, it will be wetter next year. Where it is becoming dry, it will be drier next year. That's just my own personal opinion on the way things have been trending these last couple of years during the summers and winters. If we start looking into the cosmic ray influx due to a decreased magnetic field on the sun and our planet, please take a look at Svensmark's work, The Cloud Mystery. This explains really well the correlation between cosmic rays and cloud increases on our planet. NASA admits themselves gargantuan increases in cosmic rays. And according to Svensmark, more cosmic rays create lower cloud cover, which would explain the extreme rains, extreme snow events we've experienced throughout the northern hemisphere this year. Come back to the timeline history here of which solar minimums can easily be correlated with the collapse of Chinese dynasties. It seems just there's more correlation and more correlation between events with intertropical convergence zones, droughts on a 100-year, 200-year scale, floods on the 100-year scale, snowfalls on the 100-year scale, icebergs in Cape Cod haven't been seen since the mid-1700s. There's just so many 100- to 200-year cycles repeating themselves right now, and you need to ask yourself why. We are going into another solar minimum, and that explains why. Please do your own research. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video.